Welcome everybody, my name is uh, Paolo Pialorsi and I work as a senior consultant at PSIS.com. In this video, we will talk about creating tenant-wide deployed solution with SharePoint Framework. So, first of all, let's introduce the idea of tenant-wide uh, deployed solutions. Well, a tenant-wide deployed solution is a solution that you can deploy in the app catalog of your target tenant and which will be automatically available in all of the site collections that you have in SharePoint Online without the need to install uh, that SharePoint Framework solution in every single target site collection. So it is really useful, for example, when you create uh, SharePoint Framework extensions that you want to share across all of the site collections that you have in your tenant, or when you have a web part that you want to use in many site collections and you don't want to install the SharePoint Framework solution in every single site collection, but simply being able to add uh, the web part uh, to every site collection where you want to use it. In order to create a tenant-wide solution, you need to scaffold a SharePoint Framework solution. So you at Microsoft SharePoint uh, as the starting point. You will have to provide uh, the answers for all of the questions provided by the uh, human generator for scaffolding a SharePoint Framework solution. First of all, the solution name, which can be the uh, name of your folder. You have to target uh, a target environment, which will be SharePoint Online for a tenant-wide solution. You have to select which will be the target folder and can be the current folder. And then you have to answer the fundamental question about tenant wide deployment, which is do you want to allow the tenant admin the choice of being able to deploy the solution to all sites immediately without running any feature deployment or adding apps on sites? And if you will reply yes, uh, mind that the default answer is no. If you will answer yes, the solution will be tenant wide. Actually, under the cover, there will be a flag in the package solution.json file that you can change later on if you change your mind or if you want to switch from tenant wide to a site collection targeted solution. So you can always change your mind later on. And then there are many other questions like the isolated domains, which I will not cover right now. And you will have to select the kind of solution that you want to create. Let's say that we want to create a web part solution. The name will be uh, tenant uh, wide web part, for example, we can provide a description and we can select uh, the JavaScript framework that we want to use. And I will simply use the no JavaScript framework selection to speed up the scaffolding process. So once my solution will be fully scaffolded, I can open the source code using Visual Studio Code, for example, and we can have a look uh, at the solution by itself. So the scaffolding is now ready and I can start Visual Studio Code to have a look at the source code generated. And if we go to the package-solution.json file, we can see that we have a skip feature deployment attribute equal to. This is the flag that you can use to enable or disable the tenant-wide deployment. It is called skip feature deployment because actually under the cover, when you enable the tenant-wide deployment, what will happen will be that any custom feature defined with the feature framework of SharePoint in your SharePoint framework solution will be skipped and will be not applied to any target cell collection because you will simply do the tenant-wide deployment. On the contrary, if you set the skip feature deployment equal false, you will have to manually upload uh, the package to the app catalog and manually add the solution to every target set collection. And in that case, uh, any custom feature framework element will be applied to the target set collection. Now, if we open the web part, uh, we can see this is the uh, out of the box generated one, and we can say customize SharePoint experiences using uh, this uh, tenant wide deployed uh, web part, just to make some changes. And we can now use the gulp uh, bundle dash dash ship to create a, a bundling ready for shipping of our solution, as well as we can then create a package using the package solution option of gulp. And in a matter of few uh, seconds, we will have an SPPKG file that we can upload in the app catalog. So gulp package solution dash dash ship again and we will get back uh, the package file ready for upload in the app catalog if we open the sharepoint folder we can see we have the sppkg file we can reveal the file in explorer and here we are this is the file and if i go back to my app catalog and i upload the package into the app catalog you will see 
in the UI of the SharePoint app catalog as an admin, I will be able to, first of all, see that this is a package which supports the tenant-wide deployment. In fact, I have this uh, option, make this solution available to all sites in the organization. And if I select this checkbox, I will effectively make uh, my solution tenant-wide available. I click on deploy, and as an admin now, I allowed my solution to be tenant-wide. If I go to uh, any site collection in my tenant, I can simply add a new page, I will select the page template that I want to use and I will be able to add a web part which can be the tenant-wide web part that I have in my solution. And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And my web part is available in any set collection in my tenant. Mm -hmm.